Hello, welcome back, and we're going to finish up the Battle Axe, and this is Jeff Byers and Andy150, and we're going to continue with uh, part 5 of our video series on creating a low-poly Battle Axe, and so we're ready to now go to the next stage, okay? So, we're going to go in here, and I'm going to, I still have the tool on. Right, you can see that uh, multi-cut tool still on. So hit the Q key, and what we want to do is we want we want to save our work if we haven't saved our work yet. So let's go ahead and go to File, Save Scene As, and we're going to go ahead and and just save this in a sequence. So here we go. All right. So as you're watching these videos, I would highly recommend that you save your work as you go along. Right. This is basically, I duplicated this object. It's basically a dummy object that I'm going to use over and over again. There's one thing I didn't get uh, put on there was the beginning of the strap. Okay, So that's something we probably need to probably put in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I almost forgot about that one. So multi-cut. And let's go ahead and start on the end right here. And click anywhere right here. Kind of the same thickness as what we have before. And we're going to start that around and then it kind of tucks away in the back somewhere right here okay so it tucks away and we're gonna go ahead and hit the enter key um, one last one we're gonna make a cut kinda where it's it's right here okay so we're gonna cut from here to here okay, it doesn't it doesn't have to be perfect in fact it's probably better that it's not perfectly straight makes it look a little more interesting okay so with that done, I think we're all set to go do our first extrude. So the things we need to think about are the straps that are hidden behind other straps. So if we zoom into this, we see that this strap right here goes underneath that strap. So this strap has to be thicker or you know come out more for that to happen. And this strap has to go over this one, okay? So that's that's going to be an interesting thing that we'll have to figure out. Okay, we'll have to figure that part out. Um, how are we going to how are, how are we going to actually show that? That's going to be difficult. And right here too as well. We're going to do that as well. Okay. All right. So. All right. So I think the first thing I'm going to do with this is. We need to uh, get all these pieces, um, the ones that are going to stick out more. Let's go ahead and extrude those first. So I'm going to extrude all these. Okay, just double click on that all the way around. Whoops, no. I'm going to click on this one. Let's try it again. So if you click on one and hold the shift key down and double click on the other one, it should go all the way around. One, double click on the other one, and this, for some reason, it broke. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one by hand. I'm going to hit the F key so I can rotate around here pretty easily. And I'm going to go around, yeah, so it's not connected properly. Let's go in here and just select them by hand. It's not that many. There we go. Okay. Unfortunately, every time I click on one and select it, it deselects the other one. I think we got it now. And we don't want anything um, below that. Okay, so that's really important. All right, uh, for those, um, and we, we have some of these um, pieces here we've got to watch out for. So this is going to be a piece that goes over everything. Okay. All right, so let's just go ahead and do one piece at a time and work it out that way. Okay, I think that's probably the best way to go. All right, so I'm going to go in here and you can see all the history here. See that history really slows your computer down. So I, 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 I hate to do this right now. Let me see if I can do this. Delete history. It won't let me do it without object on. So I'm going to do one extrude and then I'm going to delete the history since I got all that selected. Make sure I don't have anything else selected. Hit the four key and just kind of 
quickly visualize and see if there's any anything else that you selected by accident. I'm going to hit the 5 key again. And I'm going to go Control Extrude, Control E. I want to turn the keep faces together off this time. I know that sounds silly, but these straps are separate. If I do it on, this is what it looks like. See? They all come out the same. And that just doesn't work well with what I want to do. Okay? Just doesn't. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Control Z back. Okay? And hit turn this off. There we go. Now pull it away. Okay? The problem with that is that it will unfortunately separate all these little pieces and not just the ones we want. See, that's unfortunate, right? That kind of sucks. All right, so let's go back. And I think we're just going to have to do one at a time if we want to do this properly. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm just going to select one, one row, unfortunately. And make sure you deselect anything else. And this is going to take some time, unfortunately. But we do one, it should be, it should go pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm going to click on that guy, make sure I hit the four key, nothing else selected. And then I'm going to do control E. And with that, we've got the faces together on. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out like that. So you can see that we've got a local translate Z at 0 0.0163. Okay, and that's kind of where we want to be. Um, zero one, I'm going to write this down real quick, and I would suggest that you do the same thing. For the scale, I got uh, 0 0.0163. Now, yours might be different. I don't know. 0 0.0163. I'm going to write that down. Okay. I'm going to go twice that size because we want it to stick out twice as far. Okay. So that'd be something like 0.35. So 1.15. So that that's good right there. We don't want, we, we don't want much more than that. Okay. For thickness, it sticks out a little bit. And then we want to scale it down just a slight bit right there. Okay, just a slight bit, not a lot, just a little bit, so we can separate them. Okay. Point. Now I'm going to write this down. Point zero three three nine. Okay. Point zero three three nine. I'm writing it down so I don't forget. So I'm going to click on the other one. Click on. Hit the Q key. Click on one and double click on the other one. And I'm going to go Control E, okay. And in this one, I'm going to put point zero three three nine, exactly the same. So now I'm going to scale that down just a little bit, so we have a little gap there, okay. So it looks like the the wrapped, right? This looks like it's wrapped, right? That's pretty cool, very cool. I'm going to continue doing that. Hit the Q key once I get that done. Click on the next one. Whoops. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. Oh, caps is on. All right, there we go. And so we're going to do the next one. Make sure nothing else is selected. Hit the four key. Just double check. I'm going to turn um, the X reference off. Kind of getting in the way. And I'm going to go ahead and Control E, okay, and do the same thing again. Type in point zero. Uh, 339 or whatever number you have that has been working for you. There you go. And scale that down just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little. Okay. And I'm going to continue this up. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to continue the same way all the way up. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, so I'm back and I got this part extruded just like we've been doing. And then this part here, that's going to go into this other piece. We're just going to fake it. We're going to go in here like that. And we're going to extrude that out. Okay, so control E. Right, and we're going to extrude this one like we had written down before. Um, 0 0.0163, right? 0 0.0163. So anything less, that's, that's actually, actually the length or the thickness of the strap, the original strap. So that looks like it goes into that other piece, doesn't it? Look at that. Isn't that cool? So that's how you can make things look like they're overlapping. Okay. All right. Very, very cool.
All right, very very cool. I like that. That's pretty neat. And is there any other straps? So that looks like that looks like a strap that's starting. And if you look like look at it like this, it looks very very cool. You can see that kind of they kind of have thickness here and all that. Let's look at the bottom. Let's see what we have here. And we're going to continue doing this going down. So I'm going to we've got a piece like this. So I'm just going to click on these faces here and this face right here okay like that and see this is going to go over so this is going to be the little one right the little one Okay. I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna deselect that anywhere anywhere it crosses over. Okay. Like that. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just doing one at a time again. Alright, so I'm gonna go control E. Okay, and this takes time and then we're gonna do translate and this is gonna be point uh, zero one six three. There we go. Perfect. Looks great. This is about half of what we have here. So it makes it look like it's it's folding in on itself. It's very, very cool. Very neat. Very cool. Alright, so and then we've got um let's go back here. And we've got this other strap here that's gonna be going over it. Okay. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be going over. So I'm going to follow this all the way down. It's kind of following that. There we go. Mm. Make sure you don't select any anything big like that. Okay, it's going to be coming back up again. So this will be the thick one. Okay. All right. That looks kind of wonky, but we'll fix that. All right, so that looks pretty good. And just double check by hitting the four key. Make sure you don't have anything else selected. And this can get a little confusing if you don't take one step. If you try to do too much at once, you'll get confused and it'll be a real problem. So just take your time, and then Control E on that. Okay. And uh, let's go in here. Uh, point zero three three nine. So point zero three three nine. Enter, and that'll be thicker. So it will look like it's going over top of the other one. Okay, like that. So it looks like that. Alright, and this one here will be thinner. So let's go ahead and make sure we follow that one all the way around. So we're going to click on that. And just kind of follow this one all the way around. And this will be the thinner one. So it looks like it's going underneath. Okay. So follow that around. And deselect this guy. There we go. Hit the four key and just kind of make sure. Right, that looks good. And so I'm just going to continue this whole thing all the way down. Now again, we don't want to select the middle piece. We want to get rid of that. Okay, again, any middle piece we don't want to select. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and extrude that. So control E. And this one will be uh, locate translate Z as point zero one six three. That's why I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. There you go. And you can see that goes underneath. Alright, so that looks great. Cool. Okay, that's the idea for the whole thing all the way down. Okay, that's the idea for the whole thing all the way down. So you can see that we got the first strap in and it looks really, really good. And this is the front of it. 
So that looks really convincing, I think. Okay. So it's hugging that. It's hugging that pole now. That's very cool. So we're hugging the pole. All right. So there we go. And what I'm going to do is continue down, and then we'll check in. So, um, so basically, you want to um, continue the exact same way. So, you'll find the thick, you'll find the thick one, okay, that you want it to create, and that'll be 0 0.0339, and then you'll do the thin one, okay. All right. So continue that, and I'm going to pause it and go all the way down, and then I'll come back. Right, you do the same. You guys go ahead and um, stop, pause the video, and then um, get all these extruded the way they're supposed to. And if you make a mistake, just control Z back. And if you got this far, I would highly recommend that you go in here and delete by type history for one. Delete by type history. And then um, we're going to freeze transformations on that. So we just clean everything up. And go to File, Save Scene As, and we'll turn. This will be 15. All right, we'll come back in just a minute. Get all those straps done. Okay, we're back and everything's finished. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to do wireframe. I'm going to do wireframe on, so you can see what I've got, and you can see that it goes down, and we've got crisscrossing all over, and that looks pretty good. From the front. Then when you get to the back, it's not so great. What you could do in the back um, is to go in here and just kind of fix some things. So I could go in here and go to vertices. As long as I'm not picking any other vertices on the other side, I'm going to hit the 4 key. And I'm going to do this very carefully. You can see I'm moving that around. I'm going to select these vertices. I'm going to hit the F key and zoom out a little bit. Hit the. You can see that I don't have anything else selected. You can see if I move and rotate around there, I can't, you know, but it's easy to pick other vertices if you do this. Watch. If I don't see anything in front of me or through, I can go like this, marquee select, and I think, oh, that's I got the ones that I needed. Hit the four key, and you rotate a little bit. Oh no, you got more than what you needed. So I, I usually go between four and five, the keys, four and five, four for wireframe, five on smooth shaded, to see uh, potential uh, vertices that I don't want to pick. So I deselect those by hitting the control key and marquee selecting those. So when I got when I have these done, then I can go in here, hit the 5 key again and, and do a rotation, right? So I can hit the E key and rotate it. Now I've got this snapped, okay? And that doesn't really work for me either, okay? So I'm going to go in here and double click on that and that's the relative snap doesn't really work. So step snap and close that and now I can just rotate until I get those the way I want to want them. Okay, the other thing that we can do is that we can just select the vertices that we need to move and move them the way we need to move them. So let's select these guys right here. You can see that one right there just looks weird and these these over here look really weird over here. So let me click on the Q key and just select those. Hit the four key. Well, not not hit the four key, not the three key. You can see I got those accidentally selected. And to get that to look better, I'm going to have to move that. So I'm going to hit the five key. And it's just you're going to have to do, do some tweaking. Okay, so I'm going to go to the front view, I believe. And where am I at? Hit the F key. Okay, like that. There we go. So um, I can do one of two things: move it up. Okay, move it up like that, or move it in and move it up. But then I got to move this one over, right, and then up. Okay, you can see we're trying to get that straightened out. Okay, the problem with that is that we have to kind of straighten everything out like this into more of a diamond shape, and that's the idea. And again, I'm not even paying attention to what I've got in front of me. Like if I hit the four key keep hitting the three key, the four key. I got other things in front of me that I'm probably totally destroying, right? So you really have to be careful when you're doing that. See that one over there? That looks like garbage now. Okay. So I have to go back. Okay, so you've got to you've got to create a, a, a diamond shape okay out of this. Whoops. 
by just selecting it and making sure your own I'm in wireframe here. Okay, and then uh, then of course moving them around. Okay, so so that so that this one looks like it's going straight down. Okay, I'm gonna move this one over. And we're gonna so that line looks like it's going straight down. Here we go. And I'm gonna move this one over like that. So that starts looking like a diamond. And then it starts looking a lot better. There we go. You can see now it's starting to look better. And that takes time. So if you want to fix those, you, sh you, you can do that. Okay. But it, it takes a lot more time than you would, you would probably expect, right? Just for because of the amount of, of work that is you, that you're seeing me, it takes right now to get these to work. Okay, and uh, it just like I said, it just takes time. Get those lined up the best you can, and we can also rotate too. You know, be careful with rotation, like we did before, and just moving those around until you get that crisscross that looks correct. Right. That's the whole idea is get that look like a crisscross. Go ahead and move that over a little bit like that. And I think a lot of it's just moving it too, like I like I'm showing you here, just moving those. There we go. That's looking better. So you can, it looks more like a straight line. Okay. Well, that's way better than it looked for sure. Okay. So you'll have to take that time to to get those worked out and get those aligned up properly. Okay. And that just takes time. Okay. This is horrible. So it needs to look more like that up there. Okay. So take your time and do the back if you want to get those looking good. This stuff right here. Um, again, I'm not super worried about that. The only thing I'm worried about is that usually when the thick piece goes over the small piece, this is something you guys can work on too as well on your own, is this is what I would do with that. Um, I would go in here and select the vertices, okay, go into Q key and select these vertices, just select them by yourself, you know, manually select them. And you want to push those in. Or you can scale those in as well too. Except for you don't want to scale those in. These needs to show that those go. Those need to stay the same because they're crossing over. Anytime that's crossing over something, you got to leave them. So I'm going to leave this one, okay? But I'm going to take this one and and scale it in, okay? Can't take can't take those, okay? So got to keep those. And then what we'll do is we'll scale these in. I'll get you. We'll basically show you in just a second. It takes a little time to get these selected. Just bear with me. And see now it's selected. So everything around there is selected now. So, and there's a strategy to what I selected and what I didn't, obviously. So now when I go in here, I hit the um, R key, and I can scale. I can scale them uniformly in. See, I'm scaling them uniformly in. Look at that. And I'm going to scale them to the thickness of that one right there that you see on top. So I'm scaling it uniformly in all the way around. Okay. Um, some of them are a little bit thinner than others, but you get the idea. Oh, that didn't scale in very well. That doesn't look good at all. So let me try this. Go, let's go back. Instead of uniformly, what if we do non-uniformly? Because uniform doesn't work. So non-uniform would be this. So I'd select that and uh, scale it in this way. Okay. I don't know what happened here. I went back too far, probably. Let me hit the Q key and get those selected again. There we go. And just make sure I got them all selected that I want. And I'm going to go to the front again. And let's select this. I'm going to hit the R, and I'm going to use the this one right over here and scale it in a little bit. Whoops. 
Let's try this one first. Okay. Okay, that looks good. And then we're going to scale in this way. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. And that helps with the pieces that shouldn't be thick look thin again. And then, and then it gets thicker as it goes across that one. So that looks a little better. Okay. And then if you see pieces that are, of course, too thin, you know, you can make those changes. But that will help if you go around and do that as well and um, make those changes. And a lot of times um, you have to make these changes uh, vertex per vertex, which is something nobody wants to do as a modeler, but it happens. And it happens more than I want to admit. So I'm going to move that out a little bit. I just think that's too thin. And I move this out a little bit because I think that's too thin. So it's just you know you, you got to do it, and uh, and then once you get completely finished, it takes time. Uh, there's no easy or free ride in modeling, unfortunately. But that looks so much nicer. And then there are pieces like this where it's not exactly it's kind of angled where it shouldn't be. And so again, this is a perfect example of moving vertices around. So let me hit the 4 key, make sure I don't have anything on the other side selected and and move that up and kind of give that a, a better look, right? So let's go in here and uh, again make sure I don't select anything on the back and just kind of getting that straightened out. And so up a little higher. There we go. So that looks a little nicer than it did. And it's okay if it catch. See what's what happens with um, that kind of thing. It's gonna catch on the corner there, and it's gonna, you know, maybe that's too straight. Um, but it's gonna catch on that corner. Give it a little bit of catch, maybe like that. Okay. Okay, and it catches on the edge, and but the way it was before, it looks kind. It looked kind of strange, but that looks better. It looked like that before, but that looks a little more uh, realistic. And so the, those are the changes you'll have to make on your own. Okay, right? You have to make those changes on your own. So what I would do with this, these up here, what I would be going, I would go in here and just move them up into this piece right here. So I'm going to get those like this. Okay. And because that's out anyway, I'm just go ahead and move those in so it looks like it's going inside of that. And that kind of hides that part. So I'm going to hit the 4 key, make sure I don't have anything else selected, and I don't. I'm going to hit the 5 key and move that up in there, like that. So that looks a lot nicer. And then I can take this, give it kind of a, a nice little round spot on it. I'm going to take this guy, make sure I don't select anything on the other side, and then move that out to the side, like that. Okay. Ooh, I can't do that, because that's the edge. That's a bummer. Okay. So I can't do anything with that, but I can move this one probably out a little bit. The one I got tucked in there now, it's going to be very hard to get a hold of. That one right there, I think. Hit the 5 key and move it this way. There we go. So the strap looks thicker. And when I go out, click off, and I turn off the wireframe on shaded, that looks a lot nicer. Okay, so it looks like it's going up, up into that area there. It could probably even hide that. You could probably put that whole thing up in there so the straps look like they go up underneath, which would be fine too. Okay, that's the whole idea. And you do what you need to do on these and fix them the way you'd like. But the front needs to look really good and you need to fix these little things here and, and fix the, the back pieces. Okay, okay, with that said, we're completely finished. Uh, you can fix those little things and then um, the last video is going to be um, adding um, separating these all these pieces and adding them to the rest of the the mesh because we don't want this to be the mesh um, we want these pieces to be separated from the mesh itself um, anyway so with that said um, we're going to get into um, part six that's going to be the rendering part and then we're going to be all finished so i'll look forward to seeing you in part six